Today, I'm going to be testing out influencer-owned brands to see are they actually worth the hype? Well, let's find out. Starting off is Michaela Nugueria, who found herself in a little bit of controversy lately over on TikTok. We're gonna test out these sunglasses. They're a collab with the company called Dime. Now, actually, a lot of her sunglasses were sold out online, so these were really the only ones left. Well, they are just like simple sunglasses. Let's try them on. Let's see how they look on. Oscar, there's an issue. <laughs> What's the issue? My eyelashes are too big. <laughs> They're so big, they don't even fit back here. They're like literally pressed against it. Why are you laughing? This is no joking matter. I'm going to be ranking all these products on a three star rating. So the first star is, does it make sense that the influencer has this product? The second star rating will be based off of, is the price reasonable? And number three, would I purchase again? Okay, so with Michaela's collab, I would say, does it make sense for her to have sunglasses as a makeup artist? Sure. Cause it like, it goes on your face. And if you don't wear mascara one day, you just put on your sunglasses, it covers it right up. Yes, so thinking okay, ahead. so it does make sense. Two, does the price make sense? I think they're about $26 right now on sale. I would say that's pretty reasonable for sunglasses, so I'll give that a star. And then, would I buy this again? No, just because they're mainly made for female look. She'll get a two out of three on this one. Up next is Dizzy Wine by Miss Tana Mojo. So she has a red and white wine. I think that this is so perfect for Tana, especially because because, you know, she's like the party girl and for her to have her own wine. I mean, actually wine doesn't make total sense for her. I feel like if she was gonna have one, it would be maybe like a seltzer, but we're gonna go with it. Also, canned wine, that seems weird. Is that a girl on the go? I mean, I'm excited to try it. Is this like a revolutionary thing that she came up with? I've never heard of canned wine before. <laughs> she's <laughs> no, a she's mogul. Just, uh, Tana mogul! mogul! Wait, she's, she's had to have used that, right? I'm nervous. <laughs> So let's start with the white. Bitter, but very whiny. I actually surprisingly like the red better than the white and I'm normally a white wine drinker. Okay, so number one, do I think it makes sense with the creator? I'm going to give her half a star because yes, I feel like alcohol and Tana definitely go together, but wine wouldn't be my first choice for her. Number two, the price point. So for eight cans, I think it came to like $45 and I'm going to assume that four cans would kind of equal one bottle of wine. So that would be about 20, Five dollars each? Right. I'm not good at math. <laughs> so I'm going to give her half a star on that one as well. That's fair. Number three, would I purchase it again? Honestly, no I would not because I am not a wine drinker. So she gets one star out of three. Up next is a product by the iconic and legendary House of Paytas by Trisha Paytas. So Trisha actually came out with her own line of skincare called ASMR. She has said that this has completely transformed her skin. So it's an entire line. Oh my gosh, there's literally so many products. So we're gonna quickly go upstairs in my bathroom and test these out and see how they work. All right, we are upstairs in my bathroom and we're gonna start off with the face wash. It is ASMR. <laughs> Wait, it really is. We're gonna actually do this in ASMR now. It feels really nice and hydrating. Oh, oh my God, it smells so good. I wanna eat it. Look at this glowing skin. No makeup, no nothing. I actually really like these products. I feel like this cleanser, I think is my favorite out of all of them. Like I said, when I was putting it on, it felt so hydrating and so cooling and nice on my skin. Obviously with skincare, you kind of have to test it over time. So as far as the rating, I will say that it does make sense with her brand. Price point, it's expensive. I think it's like 180, but it's 150 on sale right now, but you get so many products in skincare. If you know, is expensive. It adds up very quickly, so I will actually actually say that it's pretty on point with what is out there right now. So I will give it a star. And number three, would I buy it again? Honestly, if I test this over the next month and I do enjoy it, then yes, I will buy it again. But it's hard to tell right after using one try, but so far so good. So I will give her three stars for this. A good job, Trish. 
I absolutely love it. The next product is actually a product from our sponsor today, and that is Scentbird. So I've actually been subscribed to Scentbird for probably a year now. This is just some of my colognes that I have, and I'm absolutely obsessed. I find it so difficult to find a scent that I like for a cologne. I get so intimidated going into a store, and I feel bad making the person at the desk like spray a bunch of different things. So what I love about Scentbird is you can go on there and take a survey and and find out what is best suited for you. And they'll give you a whole bunch of suggestions of colognes or perfumes that you would personally like. And they have a few different tiers of how many scents you can be sent each month. And they also sent me these gorgeous perfumes to show you guys because I know that my audience is mostly female. And I'm like, um, hello, these bottles are so freaking cool. So out of the three that they sent me, I really love the ash scent. Give it a little squirtle. It's a perfume, but honestly, it could work as a cologne. It's so nice. So if you are interested in trying out Scentbird for yourself, you can click the link down below and use Joey55 for 55% off your first order. So go take advantage of this deal. Go get a new scent, spice up your life. And I'm always looking for a new scent. So if you ever find a good one, please pass it my way and I will add it to my list. So let's get on to the next product. Okay, up next is Prime. Now, I honestly had no idea that this was Logan Paul's and KSI's like combined product. I feel like I see this everywhere and people are obsessed. Like I remember seeing like a TikTok of them being like sold out and like people are like trying to get them so bad. I'm like, it's literally just a drink. Like what's so good about it? So they must be making so much money off this. This is the ice pop flavor. I've never had one of these before. Oh no. You hate it. I had high hopes for this, but I'm honestly not a huge fan of the flavor. Maybe it's just the ice pop flavor. It just tastes very unhealthy. I really was expecting to like this, so I'm upset by that, but I'll probably give it another try with a different flavor another time. As far as the star rating on this, does it make sense for the creator? Yes, it makes sense, so I'll give them one star there. For the price, it's pretty cheap. Eight An eight pack was $12 at Walmart. So That's pretty I don't good. know what that math is, but it sounds pretty good. Yeah. And for the third one, would I buy it again? Yes and no, because I do want to try another flavor, but probably not. So go get a two out of three on this one. Let me know in the comments down below if there's a better flavor I should try. Mr. David Dobrik came out with his own pizza shop. I'm gluten-free. Unfortunately, Mr. David does not offer gluten-free options, which is very rude and disrespectful, especially if you're going to watch an LA. How dare you, sir? So Austin's going to come in and he's going to give the review. Okay. So this is a ginormous box. Holy crap. You went to the actual storefront. What was it like? Yeah, I'll break it down. It's a small, humble looking store. I'm uh -huh. not going to lie. It was still pretty crowded. I thought since it's been a few months since it opened, like it would die down. Yeah. But it was lunchtime. I guess, and there was a line. I could have sworn that he had brown pizza boxes. So when you walked in with the square, I was like, return this immediately. Knock off. Okay, let's take a look. It looks good. I hate to say it. It looks really good. Holy moly. I wish it was not gluten free because this looks so good. How bad could a little gluten be for you? Well, would you die? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, dive in. That is good. It's like an elevated pizza hut. And how much was it? It was $30 for this pizza. I feel like pizza, large pizzas now are about like 20 to 25, right? Where are you getting pizza from? I'm the influencer for the people. I would say it's like $15, like. No. Yeah. Okay, so out of a three star rating, number one, yes, I do think it makes sense with him because he's like a big pizza fan. Two, price point, it's a celebrity named pizza. So I would say, yeah. Yeah, it kind of makes sense for the price point. Okay, and number three, would you buy it again? I would, it's really good. All right, so that's a three stars for Mr. David Dobrik. That's good. Okay, up next is the Addison Ray Barbie doll. Now, I'm obviously not the targeted audience for this, so this is gonna be like, I'm gonna try and be unbiased. I don't understand the try me thing. She's like, bitch, try me. <laughs> try me, go on, try me. Oh. What Copyright. song is that? Is she a singer? She, she is sing? a singer, but that's not one of her songs, I don't think. That would have been incredible. Okay, let's take her out of the ball. Oh my god, soft coat. Okay, quality. <gasps> Flexible. Yes, girl. 
Where are your panties at? Why doesn't she have panties on? Uh, that's a bit problematic. <laughs> well, I feel like as far as like the quality of like a normal Barbie, I feel like it's on par. Does it look like her? That's what I was no. gonna ask you. It does not. All right, final review. Does it make sense with Addison? Absolutely. This is total sense for her. Does the price point make sense? Absolutely. $12 for a doll like this with these little cute accessories. I will give it a star. And for her third star, would I buy it again? No, I would not. But that's just me. My only critique is they should definitely give her underwear. I feel like that is really weird and really confusing. So she gets a two out of three. Up next is the pink sauce by Chef P. I saw this thing go crazy viral on TikTok a while ago. I'm not a big condiments type of person. I like ketchup and mustard. So I'm not sure how I'm going to like this. I do like that there's only three grams of sugar, so that's good. Oh my God, what does that smell? Oh my God, it smells really good. It's almost like a ranch. Okay, should I just sip it from a bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like sour and sweet and spicy. Is it really good? Yeah. Number one, does it make sense for the person? Obviously, yes. She gets the one star there. Number two, I think the price point doesn't make total sense. I would almost say like $2 cheaper, but we are in a recession, so who knows? So I'm not gonna give her a star there, but would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't, <laughs> but I do recommend it. So I will give her half a star. So I'm gonna give her one and a half stars for this one. I love that you wouldn't buy it again, but you would recommend it for others to buy. Yeah. And last but not least, Mr. Beast Cookies. So what I absolutely love about this is that they're gluten-free and vegan. David Dobrik, if you're watching, which I know you're not, take note. I feel like I'm the perfect person to test these because I've had numerous gluten-free and vegan cookies. So I'm gonna be the best judge of this. <laughs> I'm sad. You hate it? I don't like it. Really? Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like it would be sugar-free, but there's 10 grams of sugar. Really? Yeah. They're not good. Maybe your vision will be better. My vision? Did you not see he cure the blind people? He didn't cure the blind. What? <laughs> okay, so number one, I'll give him a star because he's such a variety channel that sure, do whatever you want. Two, the price, absolutely. The price point was very reasonable for like a big bag of cookies like this. But three, would I buy it again? No. So he gets one and a half out of three stars. So that's that. Okay, so if you want to see me do a part two of this, please give this video a thumbs up. And also a huge thank you to our sponsor today, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. And that's it for today. And until next time, I will see you next time. Good damn bye.